mean, she's, we always loved that filly since two years old. Uh, I feel like we maybe uh, uh, made a mistake when we keep her on the grass because the last three races on the day were pretty impressive. Uh, but no, she, she's nice. She's uh, obviously, I think she's coming back next year. I think Phil said that, so we're very excited about it. She's, she's going to be good. I mean, I think she's got some uh, abilities to, to grow and uh, get better at it. So, uh, no, she's, she, she's a very excited filly for, for next year, for sure. Another uh, big win for her and another big win for the stable this year. You know, she's special type and that's it makes our job easy you know you just hang a bridle on them lead them over and they they tend to do their job so just very fortunate to be in a position to you know able to train horses of her caliber so um, just very 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 fortunate that I'm in the position I am and the for her it's just very exciting to see maybe what maybe just the tip of the iceberg and what next year will offer. Confirmationally, she's got pretty long pasterns and her family was really good on the grass. Her brother was, I think, a great stake winner on it. And then, you know, get long races at two, you gotta try grass most often early on. And that's what it was at Saratoga. So it was kind of the thing, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And uh, she was pretty good on it herself. So, um, you know, it's one of those Hindsight's always easiest, but while we were in the thick of the battle, it was the right decision, and it was obviously the wrong decision once once, once today's over. You know, we're going to turn her off for the winter and uh, kind of hopefully take the same course as Plate Hard did, and, um, you know, we'll target the La Troy in. If she jumps through all the hoops, then maybe we'll be able to participate. But other than that, you know, we're just going to look for a year-end goal of the Breeders' Cup. We got bit with the injury bug with Plate Hard this year, so hopefully we avoid that with Kidra next year. Same owner, so I'll ask you, compare the two. Different types. You know, I think Plate Hard was just a red red line horse, hard horse to kind of just to come back to you. This filly acts like she's asleep for most of the race, and then just when it's time to go, she explodes. So I think just that little bit of, of mental capacity to rate. Played hard, always had a struggle with it, and uh, she was good. She was super in her own right, best grade one winner, uh, first only we, that we have, so hopefully this filly can uh, kind of join her in that club. Yeah. Great to have her in the barn when the other one's retired to be a... Yeah, she took her place, I guess you can say, and, you know, you, you certainly... Um, that was what we said when Played hard was retired. Well, I guess Gidger's going to have to take her place, and... I think she's darn capable after what she's proven this latter part of the year.